well my dear students the course is labor policy pakistan and the topic in hand is national labor profile national labor law profile islamic republic of pakistan as you know that the concept of pakistan was introduced in the 1930s In 1940, the Muslim League, led by Muhammad Ali Jinnah, called for the creation of a separate Muslim state in the regions that housed the majority of Muslims. Eventually, the Independence Act 1947 provided for the partition of British India and the establishment of a separate self-governing dominion within the Commonwealth Pakistan. My dear students, these days Pakistan has a constitution of 1973, a permanent constitution of Pakistan. This is a permanent constitution of Pakistan, and that became effective on 14th August 1973. The constitution of Pakistan provides for the federal democratic state. based on islamic principles of social justice point to be noted social justice the concern of the constitution is dispensation of social justice in pakistan for the people of pakistan my dear students as you know that the executive power in pakistan is vested in the president who is considered the head of the state you would be delighted to know rather enlightened to know that the constitution of pakistan contains provisions with regards to the labor rights and they are found in part 2 of the constitution and part 2 relates with fundamental rights and principles of policy my dear students you will be enlightened to know that article 11 prohibits all forms of slavery forced labor and child labor article 7 prohibits rather goes to extent to protect the right of freedom of association and the right to form unions the students article 18 prescribes right to enter upon any lawful profession or occupation and to conduct any lawful trade or business within the country article 25 is all about right to equality before the law and prohibition of discrimination on the grounds of sex alone my dear students isse thoda sa aage badhe to hame pata chalta ye hai ki article 37e makes provision for securing just and humane condition of work ensuring that children and women are not employed in vocations unsuited to their age or sex and for maternity benefits for women in employment under the constitution my dear student labor is regarded as a concurrent subject labor rights jo hain wo fall karte hain iske mutalliq power to legislation jo hai wo fall karti hai concurrent legislative list mein which means that it is the responsibility of both the federal and provincial governments to legislate on the issues of labor rights in pakistan hope you have understood the topic thank you very much indeed